good day everybody for those of you who are using unity like me the version is 2021.3.24 f1 lts so the problem was and i went to all the all the unity forums and stuff in the latest version we're missing the depth fade shader so i was actually shading uh and making a water shader which i will be doing a tutorial after this and the issue that i found out was that I'm just gonna show you guys like so if i try to add a fade like depth fade shader you guys won't see these options because this is the one i actually made so you have to make a sub fader sub shader graph to use this one so i'm just gonna show you how you can do this and that's basically the topic for today so i'm just going to show you quickly how you can make a depth fade shader sub graph for your water especially for shading water which is now not available in i think 2021 onwards so let's go let's go and after this like a small intro uh, i'll be back So welcome back guys thank you for tuning in so i'm just gonna go quickly what you guys need to do is if you've opened your project you need to go to the area where your project and i'm using the layout 2x3 pro right so i've already made the depth face shader sub sub graph but i'm gonna make it for you guys again so what I, what you do is you can go to your assets you can place this shader anywhere you want so I've got a water folder and where I'm going to make this shader. So what you need to do is click on the plus icon under the project. Now in the 2021 one, you'll need to go to uh, in the previous version. Actually, the, the shader has the URP, but that's not where you need to go. So where you need to go is shader graph. Then go to, you'll see URP, you'll see built-in, you'll see blank shader graph, and you'll see subgraph. So if we, because we need a subgraph, we're just going to click this step graph. Okay. So I'm going to name it like depth fade. That's it, right? This is the depth fade one. So double click this uh, subgraph and you'll have this uh, shader window open, right? So I'm just going to drag it to the middle and maximize it so this is you'll have just one node here that's the output node that's fine that's the that's the first thing we need this is going to output this shader so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make a node the first one is right click right click anywhere in the area create node and i'm gonna search for scene depth so this is the scene depth one so click it and you'll have this one i'm going to leave it right here then i'm going to make another node that is screen protect position sorry screen position i'm going to double click that one so it's screen position you'll have you'll see this one so this is where it's going to show you some graphs or colors so you can just minimize this one i'm just clicking the arrow button if you want to see it again just click it but i'm gonna minimize it change mode from default to raw right so you'll see raw like this right so we've got two nodes here now i'm gonna add the third one which is split right just plain split channel split and the screen position out node i'm gonna click it and drag it to the end of the split so that's the first connection you have made right i'm just gonna drag the output on the right hand side we are just going to create another one. This is going to be subtract node. Double click it. So for subtract, the A1 output from split is going to be go into B1 for subtract. And for scene depth, the out one is going to go into the A1. I hope you guys are following. If you have any difficulties, just pause the video and you can follow it. I'm just using my scroll a mouse scroll to zoom in and out right this is just the output now we're going to add another node it's going to be divide the so math basic and divide 
right? So for subtract out, it's going to go into the divide A1. And I'm going to need another node, which is going to be the float. Input basic float. That's it. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can know. And the output for zoom is going to go into the B input for divide. And you'll have this something like a pink color. I hope that is clear to you guys. So we're just checking if we've done everything all right. And another thing, sorry, I missed out. So in the scene depth, you need to change sampling from linear to I. So once you do that, you'll have this white color here. So just add this one here. So after divide, what we're going to do is add another node and we're going to use saturate. So this is math range and saturate. Out from divide is going to go into in to saturate. Right? And then the saturate out is going to go into the output of the node output node that was already there. And all you need to do is click on the save asset. Right? I'm going to repeat the steps again now. So the first thing you need to do is add a scene depth node. And you're going to change the sampling to I. Then you need to add the screen position and change mode to raw. So the output of the screen position is going to go into another node called split. And the scene depth output is going to go into another node called subtract. So the A1 output is going to go into the subtract B1. So you guys can tell your work with me. Coming next, you have a divide node. So the output of subtract is going to go into A1 for divide. And then you need to add another node that's called float. So float output is going to go into the divide B1. And the divide output is going to go into another node called saturate. So the saturate output is going to go into the by default output for vectors. This is how our depth fade sub shader or uh, sub graph is complete. Next thing is very important that you need to go into the top left corner and click save asset. Control S is not going to work. So you need to press the save asset and you can close your uh, shade. So now if you go to depth fade, this is basically the option that's missing in Unity now. Now, how do we use it? in another shader so i was making this water shader okay i'm gonna have next tutorial is gonna be how you can actually make a, a water shader right so i'm gonna do zoom in right so if i want to use the sub shader right so i'm gonna right click create node and i'm gonna add you just search for that which, which was like fade so you see this is the depth of fade the one that we actually made <clears throat> and the previous one that i had made was like depth fade sub graph so if depth fade we double click this is how you have that node and i know this has been a big problem and i went on to forums because i had the same issue with 2021 and onwards the depth fade you need to make uh, a sub graph of it i hope this is pretty clear to you guys and uh, do let me know if this helps you this depth fade that I've made, the file will be on my Patreon. You can download it for free from there. And if you're if you're at it, just subscribe and like the bell icon. Click the bell icon and like the video because we'll be bringing more and I'll be bringing more tutorials and helps and these issues that come along when you're working in Unity, Blender or uh, different programming languages. Uh, this is your host Ali Rathor from TechRed TV. I hope this helps you and you proceed to your project. Do let us know and share your comments and your questions. I hope everything works well. Take care and bye-bye.